guys and welcome to episode 177 of the OCDstories.com podcast. Now this episode is of course sponsored by Unstuck, an OCD kids movie and they have kindly given me a snippet of the documentary to share with you guys. So here it is. OCD is obsessive compulsive disorder. It's obsessions and compulsions. An obsession is an unwanted thought. And then a compulsion is something that you have to do because of that fear. I would have to do things in evens, like in an even amount of times, like yeah, twos or fours, but I could not do eight. I'd avoid things that I thought were poison. There were like tiles in the hallway, so I had to like walk on on the uncertain tiles, and then I used to have to read the tags on my clothes a certain amount of times. I'd turn the light switch on and off and on and off and on and off. You think once I do the ritual, I won't be thinking about the obsession and then I'll feel better. And then something else, OCD, like another OCD ritual pops up and then you're like, come on, seriously, I just got done with the last one. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that snippet. Thank you to Chris and the guys at Unstuck for sharing that with us. Hopefully that gives you a taste of what the documentary is like. And if you feel it would be good for a kid with OCD or just generally you or anyone you know of OCD, um, I do encourage you to check it out. And uh, if you go to ocdkidsmovie.com, you can find out how to rent it there. And if you are a therapist, if you use the code APR19UNS, that's APR19UNS, you will get 20% off the film when purchasing it for your clinic. Um, but for whether you're renting it or whether you're a therapist and going to buy it, go to ocdkidsmovie.com and thank you to those guys for supporting the podcast. So in episode 177, I uh, it's the second part of the OCDA Action Conference where I interviewed some of the attendees. Uh, the first part was a couple of weeks ago and it was what advice do you have for those of OCD? Now, this episode is the second question I asked them, which is what words of hope do you have for those of OCD? Uh, so I love the responses and hopefully this episode gives you some hope um, from people with OCD and there's a couple of therapists in there sharing their thoughts um, and hopefully you can use this episode anytime you need to turn to it for a kind of pick me up or some hope. So uh, without further ado, here are their answers to the question. What words of hope do you have for those of OCD? The words of hope I would have would be freedom, love, yeah, those are the, I would say those are two of the best, you know, freedom from the things that are dragging you down and love because there's a huge community out there who uh, can embrace you and share and in your experiences and that you uh, understand that you're part of a, you know, a larger group that are dealing with it as well. My words of hope are just that it can get better. Like, I got better. I have also got worse at points as well, but yeah. I think anybody who kind of goes through treatment and has good support can kind of see coming out of the other side of OCD it does happen there's like hundreds of people here today who will have got to that point there's still hundreds of people who won't have got to that point and they'll just be starting their journey but to really like stick at treatment because it, it does work like the stats say it work and just keep pushing for it because if you don't get the right treatment the first time keep going back keep pestering people for it yeah. um, because it, it does and will get better what words of hope do you have for people with OCD I think you know I Mine comes from my own experience and just kind of like, you know, I'm I'm living proof that mm. you can do it. Um, I w and as, as a teenager, I was housebound three times oh. um, in the week of my GCSEs and now I'm 25, about to go to university. And it's like, you know, you can, people, you can, you can, you can get over these things um, and it won't be a part of your life forever because it's under all of your difficulties. Um, you are your personality and uh, when you first so, um, start, to start to recover you sometimes realize how much time you have <laughs> because um, <laughs> the, all the time was taken up by the OCD and then yeah. you're like wow I can actually fi <laughs> fill this time with things I actually like that define me mm -hmm. and then that is a really fun exploration. Yeah. Words of hope are around the fact that it doesn't go on forever so I've kind of accepted mm -hmm. that I've got OCD and that there are going to be periods of my life when it does trouble me but they never last forever. Yeah. Uh, and providing you keep tackling them and you keep challenging them, um, you surprise yourself really with your mm. own resilience. I've often thought that I'm weak um, and I found out that I'm not. Um, and also it's just 
uh, brought me into contact with a lot of amazing people going back to the support yeah. groups through both online and, um, and things like OCD Action there, um, uh, support groups that I've gone along to and um, um, it's very much a beatable thing. I think a lot of people will say it but when, you, when you're really in that worst place with OCD you do feel like there's no way out but there really is mm. and looking back on some of the worst times I, I've had I know I didn't feel like that then but there is always light at the end of the tunnel it, okay. it will get better um, but you know even when you feel like you're relapsing um, yeah just make sure you surround yourself by people yeah. uh, that yep. love and support you words of hope I would say that there is light at the end of the tunnel no matter how dark things may seem at the moment I looked for help for many, many years, um, and the recovery from OCD, whilst not easy, is certainly possible. I would say that recovery is possible. Um, I remember not believing that at all about a few years ago, and yes, I believe that now, and just to kind of hold on to that tiny like glimmer that it is possible, people do do it, and there's loads of support and loads of people. You're not alone, basically. I think that it's about, for me, it's about what we do with what happens to us in our lives. Again, another mm. cliche thing, but it can really have practical advice. You know, uh, yeah, this can be a very debilitating condition, and I've yeah. seen people who've had it for, for many years and they've yeah. suffered deeply from it. But they do tend to be people who are very compassionate and sensitive. And this world need those they yeah. need those people. And and from from your experience of suffering with something like this, I'm no doubt that you'll have an amazing amount of courage and compassion to help people in the world that really need it. Beyond O C D even. Yeah. You know, there'll be people who need you. Mm. You know, so you're needed in the world and your experience can help you to to become a, a vessel of love and compassion. I don't want to sound cliche and I don't want to sound like I don't know. I guess it's, said, it's been said before, but it does get better. It is treatable. Um, I am living proof that it's treatable. I don't want to keep talking about my experience, but it's, it's, it, it works. Treatment works and it does get better and it does keep getting better as well. You just need to have that courage to want to fight and um, it, it, it can really be, it can change your life. And I absolutely mean that. So, yes. Well, listening to Rose Cartwright this morning, it would be that although you can't glamorize or romanticize it, that we wouldn't really be who we are without it and that we can use it for creative purposes and to try and access, just like we can access such like intense distress, maybe we can access really intense happiness as well through meditation or yeah. whatever it is that you find useful in the future. Keep going, um, don't give up and you will get there. If you have a success mindset and commit to trying new things if other things don't work eventually you will find something that works for you that's what happened for me my words of hope is that it absolutely gets better and that you will be amazed at what you can go on to do once you've kind of hit recovery and what's so amazing as well is that there are elements that you learn during your therapy and your own recovery you learn about you that you can apply to other areas of your life as well yeah. so you know it, it just helps across the board so that is hope it's like it, it's never ever as bad again it just it goes up it gets better and better all the time i guess the main one is that you can get better and that all the people that you see that you think that oh i couldn't possibly feel like that that are in recovery mm. were once how were once in the dark place that you were yeah so um you can you can get better but it's it takes a lot of bravery it's, it's always treatable it's always treatable yeah, words of hope is that, um, yeah, it's, it's that there is, uh, you're living in a time where the stigma, although it is still there, it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. And people are more willing to open up and OCD hates that. And just to remember that you are the, um, you're not the author of your thoughts, you're the reader. So, you know, all this comes out of us feeling like we're creating our thoughts, but we're not. Yeah. They're just white noise and we just, it's the, we assign meaning to them. And if we could not do that, then we'd be okay. And uh, words of hope for those of OCD? That I guess life's about problem solving and you've got the rest of your life to, to work, work on this problem or as yeah. Americans say, work the problem. <laughs> yeah. so, and, and I guess treatment's improving all the time and yeah. knowledge is as, cool. um, as kind of supported by OCD stories. So Thank you. Listen to the OCD stories. So there you have it.
I hope you enjoyed that episode and thank you to everyone who took the time to uh, give the answers for you guys. I appreciate it. And hopefully the episode was helpful for you. And don't forget this episode is sponsored by the guys at Unstuck, an OCD kids movie. And if you want to rent the film, then please do check out their website, which is ocdkidsmovie.com. And if you're a therapist, you can buy the film for your clinical practice. And if you use code APR19UNS, that's APR19UNS, you will get 20% off. And uh, so whether you're renting or buying it, head over to ocdkidsmovie.com. And quick disclaimer, guys, this podcast is not therapy. It's not a replacement for therapy. Please seek treatment from a trained professional. Until we speak, take care. Thank you.